I made it a passion and a promise to me that I only draw women of color simply because there are so many other artists drawing non-women of color, so why do I need to? What's the point? So I uplift my own community by doing that. Sometimes it is political, but it's also like this is my lived everyday experience. I draw what I know the most. I draw what I feel comfortable with the best. My name is Shanae Benjamin. Um, I'm an artist from Brooklyn, New York. First and foremost, I'd like people to get to know me for Shanae first, rather than just seeing me as a black queer artist. Um, those are attributes about me, but that's not entirely who I am. I'm a chef, I'm a painter, I'm a dog and a cat mom. <laughs> I love to hike, I love being outdoors. My first moment with creating that I could remember, honestly, has just been my whole entire childhood. I was always just that kid that just loved color and just kind of expressing myself that way. But professionally, I would say um, I originally started off as a graphic designer, but then I used to just do illustration as my way to just like relax after a long day of work. It was just really fun and really satisfactory, you know, kind of like see that feeling. And I loved how quick it was. I really love how I can just kind of put my line work and my sketches and all my thoughts just like digitally really quickly. And then I just love the actual process of painting because it's a slower, smoother process. Digital is like super quick sometimes, but with painting, you know, it's really about color theory and matching and texture and all those really like principles of art that you kind of can't really replicate in a program. Honestly, I'm really just loving creating narratives of black joy and creating narratives of black women and just kind of pulling in our culture and paying homage to that. They don't have to be visibly queer, AKA, you know, like kissing or anything like that. But I mean, just show normalization of queer life. You know, two women going to the grocery store, two women watching TV together, you know, like just normalization of our life. And then also having some elements of being from Brooklyn, whether they're on a brownstone, whether it's a checkerboard floor, which is all of us in the basically the hood kind of had growing up, you know? It's just those little intimate details and intimate moments that I love to capture. Those are also, I would say, core memories of mine that, that kind of stick out to me. So I kind of like to capture that and illustrate that because I'm a black queer woman from Brooklyn. Seeing my art in these bigger campaigns have been, honestly, has been, it's so surreal sometimes because sometimes I'll go and someone will remind me about a project that I did and I don't even remember because it's been so long ago and I'm like, I love the impact that it has on another person. I think that to me is the biggest reason why I love what I do. I love hearing that black queer women feel seen, they feel uplifted when they see my work. My ideation for Skittles was I was actually like in my room and you remember Schoolhouse Rock? That came up and for some reason like the style of drawing, like how fun and big and blocky everything else, like Schoolhouse Rock was just like in the back of my head. And I'm like, you know, I kind of want to play off of like some really cool nostalgic feelings. And so for this, instead of me drawing a scene of people, I drew a scene of like objects, you know, suns and hearts and mouths and like taste the rainbow and kind of like fun objects in ways that kind of to me felt a bit more retro. And so for that, I did a couple of hand sketches, you know, in my notebook and then I went into um, the iPad for the template that they gave us. Went through a couple of different color rounds and then I found that the pink, which is like one of my new favorite colors, like fit the background perfectly I don't really like portray it but like I draw all the time like outfits and things like that and so I would really love to see or love to work on like getting like you know just kind of like putting my art in a fashion way and like just kind of like expressing myself in that way I mean of course we have a billion fashion brands who need to know their one but at the same time why not acceptance self-awareness equality freedom joy <laughs> Pride means resilience. Pride is hope. Pride means loving who you want to love and being yourself. Pride is our moment to shine. It's honesty and vulnerability. A moment where we can really see solidarity around us. Seeing yourself when no one else sees you. Being super grateful for who you are. So much art, so much love comes out of the community. Keep that love in your heart.